Um, I'm Trevor Evans and I'm Head of Art at the Priory. In uh, Key Stage 3, starting with Year 7, we do a lot of work based on skills, uh, building drawing skills, painting skills, observational skills. We then look at different practitioners and we look at some of the themes that those practitioners might deal with. They might be the themes to do with the human figure, it might be to do with still life or various other possible political or conceptual ideas. Then when we've looked at these particular practitioners, we like the students to try and maybe work in their style using their approach and then develop their own personal responses based on this. This same thing happens in year eight. However, we just would maybe use slightly more complex materials and media, maybe start to introduce printmaking and three-dimensional work. Although there is an element of three-dimensional work and also textiles in year seven, we tend to then maybe think about the sort of slightly different and more sophisticated approaches in year eight. When we come to year nine, what we're really looking to do with students in year nine is we're looking to push those skills to the point where if they feel they want to, they might opt for it at GCSE. So we need to make sure that we allow those students to have that choice and they don't have to think about possibly, I can't do this because I'm not good enough, or I can't do this because I haven't learned this. And we introduce more sophisticated approaches, possibly some digital media and photography, uh, more complex, maybe plaster work in terms of sculpture and then the printmaking might get more sophisticated and we would look at different practitioners who are doing things that expand and really push the ideas of Year 9 students. When students then arrive at GCSE we will find that they have a varying variety of different skills and so we'll start trying to really think about in the similar way to Key Stage 3 getting those skills ready to then do very, very, very much more personalised work where they look at a theme, they look at practitioners that they choose and the learning becomes not so much a whole class learning, it actually then will become very, very much individual tailored learning. They think about what they like to do, what materials they like to use. Some will do photography, some will look at different other types of lens based media, some will do more fine art painting. Uh, a lot of them will do some serious drawing which builds their skills and enables them to look at the world and really try and analyse what it is they're interested in visually. This all then comes together within their coursework where they produce a final outcome which will relate to all the experimentation with materials and techniques that they've done through the course. Then there is an exam. The exam really is a mirror of what they've done in their coursework just under time conditions and we find most students excel in this and actually put their marks up. A level, um, for A level our exam board is OCR, the same as it is for GCSE. What we find at A level is we get a lot of very, very able students who've got a lot of high technical skills, hard working students, and then we need to really broaden them out. We need to challenge them. We need to give them much, much more complex concepts, ideas, techniques and approaches. And by allowing those students to build on that foundation, they then often will then start to tailor their own projects really build their own types of learning and even develop their own artistic language that they take to a much, much higher and more sophisticated level. And then this ends up um, with them producing coursework like GCSE and also with an exam like GCSE, but obviously much more sophisticated and much more complex approach. Uh, a number of our students then may opt to maybe take art further at university. We have students that go and do architecture, photography, advertising, fine art, digital media, um, and we've got some students doing digital animation and other certain courses that might relate to it. So it may be that they go into something that's not the university based. They may go into some sort of uh, retail that involves their artistic skills. But really we give them this broad base, starting from Key Stage 3, leading all the way out to when they leave us. Uh, we do take students on trips to art galleries, there's the Fitzwilliam in Cambridge that we like to go and see and also we take students out to the Tate Modern and Tate Britain and sometimes also to the National Gallery where they can widen their experience of art, see things in the flesh and really understand what the work is about. We also have an overnight trip to galleries which we take the sit form to where they actually go and live overnight in London, experience not just the art galleries but the sort of life on the South Bank, the wider cultural experience of theatres and all of the different events and activities that take place.